In this video, I demonstrate Spearman's row correlation, a non-parametric test of correlation. In another video, I demonstrate Pearson's R correlation. Now, Pearson's R correlation is the most widely used correlation test, but it does have some important assumptions and limitations to know about. First, Pearson's R is best suited to variables that are interval measures. When dealing with one or more ordinal variables, Spearman's row is technically more appropriate. Second, Pearson's R is overly sensitive to outliers that may distort your correlation coefficient. Spearman's row is much less sensitive to such outliers. You can identify whether you have issue with outliers by examining the scatter plot. This is certainly more of an issue when you have a smaller sample. Finally, correlation is designed to measure the linear relationship between variables. Correlation tests cannot detect relationships between variables that are curvilinear. This is particularly true of U-shaped associations. While such relationships indicate a relationship, a linear-based correlation test will have a difficult time signaling that. Even in situations where there is only a slight curve of the relationship, Pearson's R will have difficulty. Spearman's row is slightly better suited. So if you're dealing with one or more ordinal variables, or you have one or more influential outliers in a small sample, or you have a modestly curved association between two variables, Spearman's row is the way to go. To run Spearman's row, simply go to Statistics, Summary Tables and Tests, Non-Parametric Test of Hypotheses, Spearman's Rank Correlation. Here you can insert your variables. I'll just go ahead and select some. I recommend telling it to display the correlation coefficient, and go ahead and tell it to display significance level, and hit OK. You can see that the command is pretty simple, simply Spearman and then your variables, and then your options, of course, come after the comma. Um, you could actually run this without the option. The correlation coefficients are very similar to Pearson's R in terms of they can take on any value between negative 1 and 1, negative values indicating an inverse relationship, positive correlation coefficient indicating uh, a positive relationship. And then, of course, underneath we see the p-values. So that's how you do Spearman's row.